it comes to coach of the year in the SWAC and FAMU and Jackson State, both sides have compelling arguments for why their coach are winning. Both sides should. And no matter what side you fall on, you have to understand that the other side has just as compelling of a case as you do. You have to acknowledge that. But in this case, when it comes to Jackson State and T.C. Taylor, I'm going to tell you why, that even though he's just as deserving as Willie Simmons, why I believe he won't get it. And this is just my opinion. I'm not saying I don't think he should. I'm not saying I think I don't think that Willie Simmons should either. I'm just telling you why I believe he won't get it. Let's get into it. It's very simple. Voter fatigue is a real thing. Fatigue in anything is a real thing. But in this situation, people are tired of Jackson State. For the past two years, y'all got to understand, you have been dominant in a lot of things. You have controlled the headlines. You have got the number one recruit in the country. You've got the number one slot receiver in the country. You have been undefeated in the SWAC for the past two seasons. You've had a superstar head coach. I mean, you've been to two consecutive national championships, okay? You've done, even when the drama was unfolding in the offseason with Prime leaving, y'all still dominated the headlines. People are tired. And the biggest thing that makes them tired is the fact that after you lost 60 plus players to, to the transfer portal with Prime, they thought finally we get a break. They won't, they won't even win five games. And here you are at seven and three. People are tired. And that's no fault of your own, but you have to understand that people are fatigued of you. Fam, you, on the other hand, Willie Simmons, the only thing that has set him back these past two years is those two losses to Jackson State. He has never lost to another SWAC opponent yet in, in, while he's in the SWAC. Now he's on his way to a SWAC championship. He's in possibly a national championship. So yeah, they have a compelling argument. And I know you're sitting here thinking people being tired of us ain't our fault. T.C. Taylor didn't have anything. The biggest turnover in college football. He lost 60 players. And here we are at 7-3 with the number one FCS recruiting class. He deserves coach of the year. You're not wrong. But when it comes down to it, I truly believe people just going to want to see a new face. They're going to they gonna want to see something that's just not Jackson State related. I'll go even further. If you watch FBS football, if you are a fan of FBS football, there are guys who you know should have won the Heisman Trophy, the most decorated trophy in college football. There are guys who should have won that trophy twice throughout the history of college football. You know it, I know it. There, there's just guys who should have won it twice, but they didn't because for as great as they were winning it the first year and having a really good or even better season the next year, there's always that other guy, that other competitor who's, all, who's also up for the award, right? Has a really good season too. He hasn't won it yet. People get fatigued because they don't want to see the same face twice. So they give it to the guy who's also in the running for the award, which like Lamar Jackson, right? Like I said, if you watch FBS football, you'll know what I'm talking about. When Lamar Jackson won that Heisman Trophy his sophomore year, it was well-deserved. He was putting on the show. It was just a fantastic year for Lamar Jackson. And then he follows that up the next year by throwing for even more yards and running for even more yards. And he didn't win it. Voter fatigue is a real thing. You can even go back to Tim Tebow, a three-time Heisman finalist. He was the golden boy. He could do no wrong. He was all, all about Jesus Christ and football. People loved him. He was America's sweetheart. Won a national championship, and he only won that Heisman one time. You can even go back to 2008 with Sam Bradford. It's a thing. Fatigue, voter fatigue is a thing. So if he doesn't win it, that's probably why. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like that's 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 my opinion on why he won't win this award. It's not your fault. You shouldn't be apologetic for it. But if Willie Simmons wins that award, he'd be deserving of it as well. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. I can't sit here and act like I don't understand why FAMU feels just as strongly about this as y'all do. Willie Simmons, man, if Deion Sanders never showed up, I mean, Willie Simmons would, would probably have more hype, to be honest with you. He deserves it. He really does deserve it, man. He's been magnificent. Willie Simmons has been, has been magnificent. The numbers prove it. The stats prove it. The way he's built his roster. But we don't know how this will go. Maybe he will win it. Maybe T.C. Taylor will win it. Both guys are deserving, as I said. But... 
This is just my opinion on why I think he won't. But with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below if you think uh, I'm wrong or if I'm right, or if you think this could be a possible outcome as well. Um, just let me know your thoughts down below, but keep it respectful because some of y'all don't, y'all don't listen to understand, you listen to respond. Some of y'all, all right? With that being said, this is the Blitz Teddy Podcast. I am your host with the most, Kobe Orr. I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.